Halfway there, we are 12 hours into our Highland Park live storytelling event. We have committed 24 hours to this city, taking you behind the scenes as we talk to its people and tell their stories. For years, we've followed Mama Shu Harris, turning her pain of losing her sons into power and restoring her hometown block by block. As her efforts continue to gain national attention, we're taking a deeper dive on her impact in this community. Our Karen Drew live at the basketball courts there. Karen, uh, her big focus is on the children of the neighborhood there. You are so right, Devin. It is all about the kids here in Avalon Village, and this basketball court is a perfect example of things that she has come up with and created to give to the kids, to keep them busy after school, keep them occupied. Earlier in the day, we took you to the homework house, which is over here, and you can show that, Hans. And that was, we were talking about different programs and things like that that help the kids after school. Mama Shu Harris is right here. And uh, I'm right here. You are right here, girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's been great showcasing what you what what you've been doing. Yes. Um, in terms of uh, what what you get out of this, I've asked this before, but like for your heart, I mean, this is hard. Mm -hmm. You're a mom who lost two children, and mm -hmm. you've turned that into something really spectacular in terms of what you're providing your neighborhood. So what do I get out of it? Yeah. I get just the sheer joy of it all manifesting, mm -hmm. of uh, making folks happy, um, and actually seeing the place transform and seeing how they react to how the block used to look. And it's just like, wow, they can't right? believe it. They can't believe that this space looks like it's functioning the way that it is. They just can't believe it. So I love it. I love to see that. And That's it just makes me want to do more. I, I know. <laughs> and you're busy. When we're talking more about transformation. This house, it was blighted. I mean, it was a horrible scene. It was on the demo list. It was. Yep. And you came along and you bought that house and, yep. you, and you fixed it up. You've got... You know, you've got this, and I, if Hans, you can show this, Jacoby Park. Yes. This is the bonfire pit. We're going to do a, probably a bonfire later on tonight, yes, right? tonight. Okay. And yep. then we've got the stage there, over there, where you do musical acts. Yep. Which I love. Tell me a little bit about that. So that is named after Jacoby. It's called the Starlight Amphitheater, and uh, Jacoby means star. And right. so we named that uh, after him. So we have our children from the music camp they perform. I married people up under there. We have. Oh, we've got uh, our cameras looking at yoga. Yeah, we, we got. <laughs> oh yeah, yoga going on. Yes. Oh, you and know, over here we got the marketplace. The Goddess Marketplace right. is over here. Yes. So we've definitely got some things that have added to the community. Yes. What, is there a what's next? Is there a what else do we need for Avalon and for the city? What do you think? So I think that what's next as it relates to Avalon Villian is for the city right. and it's for the people in um, uh, Highland Park. We actually want to do and expand and do housing. Mm. That's going to be the next thing. All right. But some of the low hanging fruit, I'm calling it, we're going to get fencing for the basketball court and new bleachers. So they'll be here in about four weeks. Okay. So I'm excited about that as far as stuff on this block. Okay. So. And that's going to lead me to our QR code because we have a QR code at the bottom of the screen. We're going to yes. pop up. If you want to help out at the Avalon Village, mm -hmm. it'll link you to the website. It'll also link you to volunteer time because you can use all the volunteers you all can get. All the volunteers we can get. <laughs> Please go to www.theavalonvillage.com. Org. I love it. Volunteer, donate, become a monthly donator if you like. You can even drop stuff off on the porch. I know that's true. From the homework granola house. Granola bars at the anything. homework house, anything. All right. Yep. I love it. You know how to sell it, girl. <laughs> All right. We are going to be back on Local 4 Plus at 7 o'clock. We're talking development. We're going to go. We're going to pick up. We're going to go live over on Hamilton. We're going to show you some oh, new yeah. things that are going on there. That is really yep. cool. Michigan Chronicle is going to join us. And we're also going to talk about help for water bills. Stay tuned. Our coverage of tw uh, 24 hours here in Highland Park continues. Back to you. Yeah. We need more mama shoes oh, in the world. She is today. so special. We love isn't her she? Spirit. Yeah, yeah. I know. All right, Karen, we appreciate it. Coming up tonight on Local 4 Plus at 7, Karen is joined again by the Michigan Chronicle from industrial decline to community revival. They discuss future development. Then at 9 p.m., meet the people moving to Highland Park now. And on Local 4 News at 11, tackling the city's crime and streetlight problems.